Hey y'all, this is Troy. So I heard a prophetic word from the Lord this week about the red heifers in Israel, and this has to do with the temple being rebuilt and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm submitting this to you as a prophetic word and a word of knowledge that I heard, and I'm submitting this under the guidelines of 1 Corinthians 14. I believe that we should weigh prophecy, we should test prophecy under the new covenant. 1 Thessalonians says that we should hold on to everything that is good and reject any form of evil but that we should not reject prophecy, that we should not quench the spirit in that way. So I'm trying to be as obedient as I can, listening to the Lord and just submitting what he's asked me to submit publicly. This is in response to uh, some of the things we've seen in the news lately, I believe. And this is actually what I believe is the Lord's response to this, is what he's given me. So I don't claim to know everything. I actually don't follow a lot of these events. I see random things every once in a while pop up. But most of the time, I just try to focus on what God is revealing to me and where God is leading me to focus. So this is a title of a video that CBN News posted a few days ago. It's called Prophetic Anticipation Builds Unblemished Red Heifers for Temple Ceremonies Soon Come of Age. So I'm going to be as honest and upfront as I can about this. I saw the title of this and I was not thinking about it. And then I went for a walk and I was worshiping the Lord and God began to speak to me about this. Sometimes he'll speak to me about things that are way out of the blue. I'm not thinking about it at all. Other times it's something that I do know about and it's something the Lord speaks about anyways. I believe God will do both of these things, but we just need to be careful when we're listening to the Lord that we're actually getting the confirmations from Him that we need to know that it's Him. And if you have any concerns, just pray about it, seek the Lord for yourself, and let the Holy Spirit either confirm or deny any prophetic word that you receive or that you hear. This is what I heard. I heard, they're going to try something and it's not going to work. It's going to get disrupted by the factions at war between one another. The time is not yet ripe. And then I heard the Lord say, this is speaking of the red heifers specifically. So I knew the Lord was referring to this and I actually saw an image of this in my mind that I believe was from the Lord. This is the impression I got right after that. That's what's happening in Israel at this moment. These are shadows of things to come. So what we're seeing are shadows of things to come. So I'm not going to make this long, but this is the last thing I felt led from the Lord to share with you is that there's a big difference between getting ready for something in the spirit versus preparing for something in the flesh or in the natural Jesus did not say, go into all the world and prepare for the end times. You know, he didn't say, go into all the world and make sure people are ready for the things that are going to be happening. You know, he said, go into all the world and preach the good news. And sometimes our natural response to seeing some of the signs of the times occur is to double down on getting prepared from a fleshly perspective when the Holy Spirit is really trying to say, hey, watch these things. Get ready for what's coming, but don't put all your focus over here because I still have a purpose and a calling for you in this life. And that purpose is tied to the Great Commission. You're here to win souls. I'm here to win souls. Proverbs 1130 says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and one who is wise gains souls. Another translation says, he who wins souls is wise. The word says that God doesn't desire anyone to perish. And the message of the gospel is what wins souls. That is the thing that brings life. That is the thing that brings righteousness. It's the message of the gospel received, heard. And Paul even said, how can they hear it if someone doesn't preach it? How is their preaching if someone doesn't go, isn't sent, right? Jesus sent every single believer. And this is not a condemning thing. It's not a weight on our shoulders. Listen, we're not responsible to go and save the world and to win everyone to Christ. We are just responsible to be obedient to what the Holy Spirit is telling us to do. That's it. If the Lord gives us a faith step, we're responsible to take that step and say, yes, yes, Holy Spirit, I'm trusting you that you know what you're talking about here. I'm going to leave you with this simple encouragement that I believe is from the Lord. I believe for some of us, the Holy Spirit is going to be pointing out things that we focused on far too much. And he's saying, take a step back. Don't go down that path right now. Come back to what I've called you to do. Focus on the calling I've given you on the words I'm speaking to you through my spirit. Focus on the word that I've written, that I've handed to you through the Bible. And just do the things I'm asking you to do. So I do believe that end times ministries and things like that are okay. There are several that I like. One is Tipping Point with Jimmy Evans. There's ministries like this that talk a lot about the end times events and they're kind of watching what's happening. What are the signs of the times? I believe these things are okay. I believe these things are good, but we do need to make sure that we're not losing sight of the calling with which God has called us while we're here on earth. I'm reminded of this picture from 
It's actually the story of Schindler's List, the, the film. I've seen an edited version of that film. I've never seen like the full version, so just be careful that there is some stuff in there that not everyone should watch. But there's this amazing scene at the end of the movie where he's helped to save all of these Jews from the Holocaust. Like it's very dark times that the story was told about. And he saved all these people's lives and he's used up his money to do it. He's used up his resources to do it. And then he realizes he has this very expensive pen in his pocket and he looks at it. If I'm not getting the scene wrong, he starts to realize I could have sold this. I could have gotten a couple more people out. Like I could have saved a few more people. And that scene has stuck with me over the years. And it's like, man, I do not want to waste the time that God has given me. We're not here to collect pens. We're not here to get all the knowledge about all the things. We're here to do what God has asked us to do. Here's the good news is that the weight is not on our shoulders to be prepared for something. And the weight is also not on our shoulders to win someone to Christ. When we are just responding to the Holy Spirit in faith, God is going to help us to take advantage of that time and to be the light to the world that God has called us to be. But he's also going to, you know, when our hearts are submitted to him, if there's a way that we should be prepared in the natural for something, the Holy Spirit's going to show us what we need to do to prepare. We don't have to be frantic about it. We don't have to be frantic in this way or that way. We can walk in the peace of God as we listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and stand on the truth of the word. Going back to this prophetic word that I got in this word of knowledge, some people may say, okay, what is this whole thing about the factions at war? What is that? Please explain that. My honest answer to that would be, I can't explain that. I'm sharing what I heard, but I do not pretend to understand everything that the Lord shares with me. The Lord has simply asked me to be obedient in sharing some of these things. And so that's what I'm trying to do. We're just gonna have to wait and see, you know, unless the Lord gives you more insight into what that means. I do wanna finish by saying this. I recently released a video called, The Rapture is Imminent, But Many Miss This Truth. And this actually dives into this a little bit more. And there were many prophetic words that the Lord gave me that I shared in that video that may apply to this, especially if you have questions regarding things like the rapture, the things like how much time do we have left, things like the second coming. So I believe the Lord is answering some of those questions in that video. So I encourage you to go watch that if you haven't gotten a chance to. <laughs> this is my son saying hi. <laughs> one last thing, if you haven't subscribed to The Mysterious Truth, the idea of like winning souls, this is one of the places where we're trying to do this practically. We're trying to create interesting videos and tell interesting stories and then try to bring some spiritual truth and actually the gospel message into these videos near the end. And we're trying to get these videos in front of unbelievers who wouldn't typically click on a video like this one so that we can get the gospel in front of more people that need to hear it. So go check out that channel, watch some of those videos and, and subscribe if you want to support us in that way. I love y'all so much and I will see you next time. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come say hi. Okay, now let's say hi. Did you, you want to say hi? Uh, say hi. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, is that the camera?